OK, let's talk about graph representation. Before we can talk about exploring a graph, we need to know what we're given as input. And there's basically one standard representation and a bunch of variations of it. And they're called adjacency lists. So the idea with an adjacency list is you have an array called ADJ for adjacency of size v. Each element in the array is a pointer to a linked list. And the idea is that this array is indexed by a vertex. So we're imagining a world where we can index arrays by vertices. So maybe you just label your vertices 0 through v minus 1. Then that's a regular array. Or if you want to get fancy, you can think of a, a vertex as an arbitrary hashable thing. And ADJ is actually a hash table. And that's how you probably do it in Python. Maybe your vertices are objects. And this is just hashing based on the address of the object. But we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to write ADJ of you. Assume that somehow you can get the linked list corresponding with that vertex. Uh, and the idea is, for every vertex, we just store its neighbors, namely the vertices you can reach by one step from you. So I'm going to define that a little more formally. ADJ of u is going to be the set of all vertices v such that uv is an edge. Okay, so uh, if you have a vertex, where's, where are my graphs here? So if I have a vertex like b, a to j of b is going to be both a and c, because in one step there are outgoing edges from b to a and b to c. So a to j of b is a c. Write that. In that graph, I should have labeled the vertices something different. Uh, ADJ of A is going to be just C, because you can't get from one with one step from A to B. There's a, the edge is in the wrong direction. Okay, and ADJ of C is B. Okay, I think that definition is pretty clear. For undirected graphs, you just put braces here which means you store, I mean, it's the same thing. For here, A, D, J of C is going to be A, B, and D, as you can get in one step from C to A, from C to B, from C to D. This, for pretty much every, at least for graph exploration problems, this is the representation you want, because you're at some vertex, you want to know where can I go next. And A, D, J of that vertex tells you exactly where you can go next. So this is what you want. 